you didn't see round four of the 2023 Autobac Super GT, you didn't miss much. It was just. Oh! Max Racing Super is going to come smoke. Oh, that's the Hoppy Shad Super now on fire. So we've had the Hatchy Itchy Super catch up fire, and now the Hoppy Super car has as well. Slick tires. Slick, yeah. No well, way. No way. Are going to come back? To the drive runners, and they, these guys in GT300 have clearly seen the writing on the wall, and they've seen the pace of the up garage, and they've gone, Do you know what? They're not fools. I think slick tyres is the right way to go. In it. They're both coming in. They're both coming in as well. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, and there's the good oh. Mercedes in the wall. There you go, here it comes. The gain is going to get past the Sintium Corsa car without any hesitation at all. Into second place, no problem at all. The Subaru is a sitting target. The run at Ravonis out is going to get past it. That tells you how much time the Subaru is actually losing because the run at Revo car is a lap down and it's going to sweep past the Subaru down to the first corner. They're going to tuck up behind the Shade GR86. There goes the run at Revo Nissan. It'll box the Subaru in. The Gainer car will get the move on the inside line. Easy as charge play. And Tamita gets into the lead with two to go. A heartbreak of a Subaru, but they have to go for it. Starting off with GT300, there was not zero, not one, but two Supers that caught on fire. The last one caused an almost an hour long race stoppage. During this red flag, Complex Designs decided to do a rain dance and summon the rain gods. This rain caused multiple teams to make tire compound changes on the grid. But before we go any further, let's go back to the beginning of the race, where in GT500 starting on pole was the number 24 Real IZ, followed by the number 16 R to NSX, and in P3 was the number 8 R to NSX. The race was started under a safety car due to temporary rain toward the start of the race. On just the fourth lap, the P4 starter, number three, Nitero Moto Z, took the lead while the number 24 Real Z fell all the way down to P10. I bet you're wondering why the number three Z had a quicker pace than the number 24 Real Z. Well, the number three Z is one of the two Zs on Michelin tires. Check out my past video on Michelin's last season in Super GT. By the seventh lap, the number three's Nitero Moto Z's lead grew to about six seconds, but then the track began to dry and one after another began to switch to slicks. For a portion of the race, the number 16 Arda NSX, followed by the number 14 NEO Supra, set the pace in P1 and P2, until the 35th lap where a Supra and GT300 caught on fire. Before the fire, the number 14 NEO Supra had passed the number 16 Arda NSX to move into P1, followed by the number 39 Denzo Supra. Eventually, the number 39 Denzo Supra passed the number 16 Arda NSX, to make the P1 and P2 positions all Toyota, the number 16 R to NSX in P3. On the 66th lap, there was another Super in GT300 on fire. And once the race was ready to resume, the rain started to come back down. On the 71st lap, the safety car finally left the track and the number three in the Terra Z caught pace and eventually passed the number 37 Supra and the number 39 Denzel Supra and the number 14 Ineo Supra to take the lead. Running behind the number three, the Terra Moto Z was the number 16 R to NSX, who passed the same cars as well to move into P2, eventually after passing the few cars by the end of the race. This was the same story for the number 100 Stanley NSX to take P3. But after the race, a violation in pit work by these two cars was found out, which caused a 40 second penalty to be added to their race times, which put the number 16 R to NSX in third place and bumped the number 64 Modulo NSX to P2. Team of the day goes to number 36 all time super in my opinion. Forced to start in the back with a 72 kilogram success weight, they managed to finish in fourth place due to consistent driving by driver Shu Tsuboy and Rotomi Miyata, and penalties, of course. Now, moving on to GT300. Of course, by now, you're already aware of the Yard Cook Supers. So let's switch our attention over to the pole sitter of round four, the Good Smile AMG. The Good Smile AMG showed a fast pace the whole weekend in dry conditions that is. A late race tire change on lap 90 where the AMG chose slicks proved to be a poor decision as Taniguchi lost it on cold tires literally on the outlet. The number 88 J-Lock Lamborghini Hurricane and the number 7 BMW Studi M4 followed the AMG a couple laps after the initial pit and pitted as well which left the door open for the number 61 BRZ which I'm sure at this point everyone was hoping for. 
All the way to the last lap, the number 61 BRZ was tailed by a possessed number 11 Gainer GTR in third place. I bet you're wondering, why did I skip over P2? Well, I'll let you watch the video for yourself. Here it comes. The gain is going to get past the Cintium Corsa car without any hesitation at all. Into second place. No problem at all. The Subaru is a sitting target. The runner from Bonus Ad is going to get past it. That tells you how much time the Subaru is actually losing because the runner from car is a lap down and it's going to sweep past the Subaru down to the first corner. They're going to tuck up behind the Shade GR86. There goes the runner from Bonus Ad. It'll box the Subaru in. The Gainer car will get the move on the inside line. Easy as chance. Charles play and Tamita gets into the lead with two to go. A heartbreak of a Subaru, but they had to go for it. Yeah, I don't think they were going to. I think the, 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 the thing that made the difference to the 11 was coming in early. If you're going to go on slicks, go early. The number 11 gainer GTR managed to eat up a nine second gap to the BRZ with less than four laps to go. The number 11 gainer GTR ended up in P1, followed by the number seven Studi BMW in four, and the number six Dubot Audi R8 in P3. All in all, this race was crazy and it kept everybody on their toes. Everybody in the chat was going crazy. Everybody was saying who they was rooting for and no one knew who was gonna win, basically, especially in GT300. Thank you to everyone that joined in on the live stream and kept the chat popping. The next Super GT stream will be on 826 at Suzuka. As always, I appreciate you for joining me on Kita Auto. Till next time, I'll see you later.